I just received this box of tarantulas in the mail from a company that you may not even realize sells tarantulas. Welcome to the Tarantula Collective. My name is Richard and today we're unboxing some tarantulas and inverts from a company that isn't really known for selling tarantulas, but probably should be. And that is Josh's Frogs. They sell a lot more than just frogs. You can also get tarantulas, inverts, feeders, supplies. I mean, they've got substrates, plants, all kinds of different stuff there. So whether you're looking for reptiles, amphibians, inverts, or maybe just some substrate, plants, lights, decor, enclosures, feeders, whatever it is, go check out Josh's Frogs. I'll put a link down below in the description if you want to check them out. But Josh's Frogs reached out to me a little while ago, said they wanted to send me some tarantulas so I could unbox them on camera and show you all exactly what their packaging looks like and, and just let you know that they have captive bred tarantulas for sale. Everything they sell is captive bred. They're not selling anything wild caught, which is always a plus. So let's get this box open, see what their shipping and packaging looks like and check out these tarantulas. I'm really excited to see what they send. Now I received this in the mail today. It came through FedEx overnight, which is the best way to ship any kind of live animal, but especially inverts. And I'm really excited to get this opened up. Now, somebody sent me this knife. I don't know who it is, but I, I was showing off my Benchmade knife in one of my previous videos. A couple of people were leaving comments saying I should try Spyderco. And they were a little expensive, so I was putting it on a wish list. But one of you all anonymously sent me this knife in the mail, and it is beautiful. I love it. It's very sharp, and I'm gonna use it to open up this box. So whoever you are, thank you so much for this gift. And for those of you out there that are really into pocket knives or blades in general, this is uh, Spyderco Enough is what I believe the, the name of the knife is. All right, so right off the bat, they sent some stickers, which is always awesome. Oh, we got a nice little card. It says, thank you from Josh's Frogs. Thank you from all of us at Josh's Frogs. Special thanks for us and Arachnids. And it's signed by Jason, Gage, Shin, and Austin. Um, enjoy your teas and happy keeping. Well, thank you very much. And a cool little painting of some dart frogs. Got a little information card. There's a little note from Jaden, so thank you. Stickers, and now the fun part. So it's a good thick piece of styrofoam, keeps it well insulated, which is good. Uh, looks like we got some cooling, I, I don't even know, this is like water crystals, but uh, it's definitely kind of keeping everything cool since it is so hot outside. This is a reusable phase changing shipping pack, which is interesting. All right, and some more uh, cooling material. You gotta be careful when you're unboxing because you never know what's, ooh. As I was saying, I, I thought this was just uh, some packaging and it turns out it's a plant. Gotta be very careful. There we go. Oh, a little bit of dirt there. But that is, that is beautiful. I don't know what kind of plant it is. Hopefully there'll be some information in there, but I really like it. taped up container with substrate and leaves. So I'm guessing there may be some isopods or springtails or something in there. Now we've got a little enclosure. They did say uh, they're sending me an arboreal tarantula and an enclosure for it. So uh, we'll check that out as well. Now those, those are dubia roaches and some larger dubia roaches. My wife's gonna love that. Oh. Adding that, those are the tarantulas. Just make sure we got nothing else in here. Just a bunch of dirt. Dirt, another cooling pack. And I mean, this is like one inch foam or so. I, you know, probably be like three quarters or an inch. So it's nice thick foam. So it's well protected and highly insulated. And we'll set that over here. Now let's take a look at the tarantulas. Goodness. Now you can see that they are shipping 
their tarantulas, their slings in these dram vials, which is very standard. Uh, but they're also, instead of using paper towels or tissue, they're using sphagnum moss. And I've noticed a lot of tarantula dealers are switching over to shipping their inverts in sphagnum moss. One, because it holds moisture really well. It's a lot easier to unpack as, and maybe even pack, because I know that you know, trying to pull that paper towel or tissue out of these vials, especially when it's damp, can be very frustrating. It twists and turns. So I'm very excited to see that they are switching over to this sphagnum moss like a lot of other dealers. Um, maybe they've been doing that all along. I don't know. Uh, but let's see what we've got. That is an Imbalfori. Another Imbalfori. Whoa, shouldn't drop it. A third Imbalfori. Another Imbalfori, a lot of Imbalfori's. It's a Monocentrophus, Balfori, Socotra Island, Blue Baboon Tarantula, and it's exciting because it's a communal. I've already got a communal over here with much larger tees. They're about, I don't know, maybe three or four inches. Uh, there's only three of them in that communal. This is five, so uh, we're gonna have to set up a whole communal enclosure for them, which is gonna be awesome. We've got uh, Antilles Pink Toe Tarantula, Caribbean of Versicolor. And an A. Jurinus avicularia, avicularia jurinensis, I believe it's what it's called. Uh, but yeah, so we'll, we'll get those unboxed. I'm curious as to what this is. And whatever it is, it's taped up very well. I think it's just substrate for this enclosure, which is cool. Thank you. Now let's get to unboxing. I said we do the Caribbean of Versicolor first. That's always a, an awesome tarantula. And this plant they sent, uh, they wanted me to, to put inside here. So we will do that. And we'll take this substrate that they sent, put that in the bottom. Looks like the best place for it to grow would be up here along the back. So plant this. So I'll add some of these leaves. Yeah, I like that. I think it turned out really well. So now let's uh, let's get a tarantula moved in there. I love Caribbean Versicolors, and when they're at this size with that bright blue color, so I think that's gonna be very awesome. I should probably open this up first. Oop. You down in there. Ooh. All right, up next, we'll do the uh, Geronesis. I'm sure there's a common name and I'll put it down below. It looks tiny, but I got the perfect enclosure for it. All right, so for this guy, I happen to have one of these tarantula crib, small arboreal enclosures, little tree houses. And since it is arboreal, it needs more height than it does width or length. And I've got some Zilla Jungle Mix. So I'm gonna use this little cup, because for some reason, there's something in this jungle mix. It may be the little pieces of wood, but well, it gives me splinters. It's almost like urticating hairs. So I always try to use some kind of cup to scoop that in there. Give it a nice good layer of substrate. And then I've got this cork bark. It's a long piece I cut off from a really long piece <laughs> to fit into another enclosure I'm working on. Break off a couple pieces, slide those in there. And a little sphagnum moss. I'm gonna stick some back in a corner. Sphagnum moss not only looks cool, but it also helps maintain some humidity in the enclosure. Because once you get that wet, it'll slowly dry out and release that in the air. And now to get the tarantula out. Now I've got a whole video on unboxing spiderlings. If you want more information, I will link that at the end of this video. Now, it's time for the communal. Now, I actually just picked this up from my local pet store. It's a uh, Zilla enclosure, 12 by 12 by 15. I, I love these enclosures, but I bought it and I didn't even know what I was gonna go in there. As addicted as I am to tarantulas and other inverts, I also kind of am addicted to enclosures. And they don't have, at least at my local pet stores, they don't really have 
awesome enclosures. You know, they're usually for like large snakes or chameleons and stuff. So anytime they have an enclosure like this, usually it's only one and I snatch it up as soon as I see it, even if I don't need it, because I know later on down the line, I'll need an enclosure like that and they won't have any in stock and I'll have to order it online. And that just takes time. And sometimes they arrive with, you know, cracked or broken and, and you gotta go back and forth. So. You know, I saw it and I was like, I might need that in the future. I picked it up and here we are a few days later and I can use it. So let's get this enclosure set up for this communal. So I'm gonna throw in plenty of substrate because I want them to be able to do some burrowing. They're terrestrial, but they kind of show some semi-arboreal tendencies, much like the OBT. So they'll burrow into the ground, but if you give them some branches and stuff to, to web up, they'll also do some amazing web talks. And since this enclosure is a little bit taller than it is wide and deep, I'm gonna give them plenty of substrate because I got plenty of room to, uh, you know, lean cork bark and make places for them to anchor their webbing higher up. Luckily, I just got in a big shipment of cork bark and I'm already starting to run low, so I might have to buy some more here shortly. And one of the keys to a successful communal is to make sure there's plenty of space for everybody to separate, especially if they're getting sick of each other. So I'm gonna have plenty of hides, plenty of cork bark going different directions. I grabbed some spider wood. This was actually in my uh, initial, my first in Balfouri communal. I went ahead and cleaned that off really well. I also took some clippings of uh, a couple different types of pothos and uh, whatever this thing is. <laughs> but the plants that are doing really well in some of my bioactive enclosures, I'm gonna put them in here. I think it'll give some additional hiding places and it might just look cool. I've never tried keeping Balfouri in like a bioactive enclosure, or at least one with living plants. And the nice thing about these plants is they don't require a whole lot of, uh, you know, moisture. They're more of your like temperate or arid species of plants and they don't need much light. So I think they might do well in here. So let's get them set up. All right, so I went ahead and watered the plants and now it is time to get these in Balfouri out. All right, so let's get this one open. Oh, he's right there on top. And it is a lot larger than I anticipated. Hey buddy, whoa, what's up? Okay, no, 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 it is under my foot. Woo. I thought I was gonna go back in the boxes and it'll be really difficult to find. Uh, but here we go, we've got it. Introduce you into your new home. Nope, nope. Go in your home. There we go. Well, that didn't go smoothly. But usually once they find a nice dark place to hide, they'll run right into their enclosure. You'll have no problem. Here comes number two. Come on out. Oh, come on out. I know it's bright. This one's a little bit smaller. If they're from the egg sac, hopefully this means it's a female. All right, in Balfouri number three. Ooh, this one's got some good size to it. Ooh, so fast. And it's... It's gone pretty quickly. <laughs> Whoa. Nope, 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 nope. Get back in there. No, go up. Go up. Hunt in. No. Not on me. You maniac. If you're ever rehousing a communal or unboxing and, and setting up a new communal, you gotta pay attention to what you're doing, the tarantula you're unboxing, but you also gotta keep an eye out that the other ones don't decide to wander right on out while you're distracted. They're a lot larger. When they told me they were sending me an M. Balfouri communal, I assumed they were gonna be really tiny slings. So it's exciting that they've already got some good size on them. Now that is a cool looking communal. So huge thanks to Josh's Frogs for setting this up. Everybody go check out their website, joshesfrogs.com. I'll leave a link down below in the description as oh, probably the pinned comment as well. If you want to see more videos on, you know, my cameras that I use and the flashes and all the lenses and all that kind of stuff, just check out this video right here. And if you want to see more communals and, and you know, just, just cool videos, unboxing videos and stuff like that, watch this playlist right here. As always, I appreciate you watching. Subscribe if you want to see more. Hit that like button if you enjoy communals and unboxings, and I will see you next Tuesday. <laughs>